Hey guys, it is day 23 of the carnivore diet, and yes, I'm wearing a different shirt today, right? <laughs> I kind of remembered. Oh man, that's always a funny thing, right? Well, I know it's Tuesday, and I'm, and you guys are going to be like, how are you still... My mother and I are, right now are, are at the point where we're so sick of these ribs, it's not even funny. We're trying to eat the rest of the ribs, and I have a big piece of meat that I just want to kill, and I got another piece, and then... That's it. I'm not going to have ribs for a while. I just... I didn't think that these ribs were going to be this hard to consume, but there's just so much meat on them. And being I'm not hungry during the day, it's like... Ah! No. Mm, 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 mm. Still good, though. But they got to go today. You know, we've had them since, like, Saturday, I think. So, it's Tuesday. It's like, whatever we don't have, just got to throw it away. Because it's it just, the longer you have it, the worse it's going to get. And it just becomes something you don't want. And you're just like, eh, I don't want this. Oh. Hmm. So good. But, it's got to go. Well, we're still coughing. Um... No oh, body aches today. Felt like my energy levels were a little higher. I uh, wasn't tired. Um, I was like moving some stuff today that was a little heavy at work, so I felt like I actually was getting my muscles back. Um, other than that, I think we're slowly coming out of this transition period, um, which is good because I definitely want to get out of this and try to get back to what I what I was. And this weekend's going to be awesome. It's a three-day weekend for me. I got Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. Normally I have the weekend off, but <coughs> I'm going to have Monday off as well. So that is cool, and I want to be up and fit and ready to go do the 9 million things I want to try to accomplish this weekend from sunup to sundown. Um, just because before you know it, it's going to be December, and it's going to be snowing out, and I, you know, I just can't get to the automotive that I need to get to. So there's that. Um, mm. A couple guys today at work actually noticed that I lost weight. A couple guys today actually noticed that, I'm, that I've lost weight. And they actually, one of the guys was like, hey, he's like, <coughs> he goes, you look like you've lost some weight. I was like, yeah. He goes, what are you doing? And I told him, I was like, I'm on the carnivore diet. And he goes, oh, what's that about? And, you know, yada, 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 yada. You know, basically eat all animal products, no carbs. And he's like, oh, what, what is carbs exactly? I'm like, hey, everything that's basically bread product related. I'm like, you could have fried chicken, but you can't have flour on it. You could have it with, like, pork rinds on it. And he's like, oh. He's like, I, he's like oh, I like bread, bread and stuff. I'm like, yeah, but bread is your, not your friend. Not at all. Um... Frightened with a piece of meat here. A lot of these companies that have these like bread products and flour, you gotta really read the freaking chemicals because man, that shit is scary as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I gotta eat this shit. <laughs> so, is it gonna be somebody else I can recruit? Yeah, who knows? I didn't really seem too eager, you know, jump on the carnivore diet bandwagon, but no, he's a big dude and he's been trying to lose weight. He had that like lipo thing and then gained it all back, or that stomach stapling or some shit. It's like anything out there. If you don't stick with something, it's just never, ever going to go good for you. Um, honestly, sticking with this diet could have its ups and downs and its hard points from mysterious bathroom outbreaks to the transition period cold. 
So like not knowing what you want to have for dinner, it's an up and down balance, but I've never really had that issue, just more or less of, you know, leftovers that are kind of like, you know, kind of like how they say, like, when family comes over for the holidays, they start to stink after a while, you know, it's just after a while, you're like, ugh, come on, get out of here, I've had enough of, of you already. That's how it is when you have, like, forever leftovers. It's like when I used to eat Chinese food. You know, we would get Chinese food for, like, the weekend. Um, we couldn't wait to have it. And as soon as we had it, I mean, for a day or two, I'm eating General Tao's chicken like the plane's going down, you know? You know, eating that orange chicken, General Tao's chicken, sesame chicken, sweet and sour chicken, um rice and vegetables and lo mein and shit, eating that stuff, like, the world's coming to an end. I mean, that, I wonder why I gained so much weight between the beer and just eating that. From the time we got the delivery to, like, by the time I went to sleep, I'd be freaking, like, noodled out. Ugh. I would be, like, full, and then 20 minutes later, I'm going to get more. Or half an hour, an hour later. Ugh. And I was full, full, but it was, like, so addicting, it was hard for me to say no. So... We would have, if we bought a lot of it, we're talking about like a couple hundred bucks worth, we'd have it for like three or four days. By the last day, you're like choking on the white rice, you're like, uh, go to have orange chicken, tastes kind of funky and shit. This doesn't taste funky. I'm just tired of it. I really am. Oh, bone and fat. But, other than trying to scarf down a meal, um, I get like these cough attacks in the morning that drive me nuts. And then it kind of fizzles out throughout the day. Um, I'm not drinking as much water. That's another thing I noticed. Um, during the beginning of the transition period, I was drinking like a bottle a second. Like, oh my god. I'll be at work and I would have to constantly keep drinking and drinking and drinking. <coughs> my mouth would be so freaking dry. I'll drink a bottle of water like that. And then it would be, you know, five, six minutes later, ten seconds, twenty seconds. Like, my mouth right now is still moist. Before, it wasn't moist at all. And I wasn't taking in any salt during the day. I wasn't drinking any salty water. I wasn't drinking anything else. The only thing that I can think that was actually really screwing me a little bit was we had a chicken broth that we put into a bottle, water bottle. I drank that throughout the day. And I think that was really drying me out. But after we stopped drinking it, this was like a couple days after, like two, three days later, and I'm still got, you know, freaking dry mouth. I mean, now it's like the saliva is back in my mouth. You know, right now, before, like a couple days ago, you know, I would be just dry mouth instantly. Now it's I got all this saliva in my mouth. It's great again, but it's like I feel like I'm drowning in my mouth sometimes. So... It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's better than it was. But, you know, it, it's like a weird, you know, transition back and stuff. And we haven't done anything different. We're still eating the food. We're still doing stuff at the right ratio. Um, you know, we have the pork rinds as a snack. We've kind of been <laughs> snacking on them more than we should be. We're probably not going to buy them again because some of them are, like, a little hard to bite and stuff. Um, they're good. You know, it's just... I gotta try it out. Never really had pork rinds before, and you know they're good. They're tasty. It's just not something I'm gonna constantly keep buying because then that's just like a massive expense that I just don't really want to do. You know, the, the great thing about this diet is actually the lack 
of money you spend while on it. Like yesterday, we went through all our pastas, and we're like, oh, maybe we'll get to the pastas, you know, a couple months down or some shit. And we started looking at the ingredients in the pasta. Oh God, I don't know why we never looked at it. And then we're like, ah, oh, you know, some of the some of them didn't look like they're gonna be that bad. And we're like, well, we're never gonna get to it. It's those things are 100% carbs. We just started this diet. It's day 23. We're not going to go and screw it up now. By the time we get to that stuff, it probably won't won't be until like July of next year. <clears throat> and if, you know, we wanted to go for something like, you know, um, pasta salad, which was always my favorite salad, pasta and celery. Well, yesterday we went down a rabbit hole and looked at all the, the fruits and vegetables out there that are sold to the public that are so infused with so much chemicals <laughs> from I mean strawberries I think it was strawberries or raspberries one of them has like 26 or 36 different pesticides used on it that are harmful to you fresh strawberries what the fuck people it's like holy shit you know and there's tomatoes and celery and lettuce and kale and spinach and all this good stuff that is supposed to be good for you is so filled with toxic chemicals that people don't even realize until you're on like one of these diets and you're like you start reading the labeling on shit and you're like you know it's like the labeling on everything not even just that but like beauty products that you spray on your skin you know I had this like spray tan lotion cream that I had that I was putting on myself during the summer to try to get myself a little bit more you know less bright white you know that Irish white color I look golden now that's because of the light really get me off off camera you hey, get blinded by the light and uh I was like reading it and I'm like googling all the chemicals that are in it and I'm like oh cancer causing uh cause skin can oh that can cause skin cancer that's funny huh okay next one uh cause neurological disorders oh wow can cause birth defects in women oh god can cause child deficiency I'm like what the fuck is this shit Meanwhile, it's supposed to, like, give me an orange glow. Instead, it's going to make me radioactive. Oh, my God. You guys are getting blinded over here by my shoulder. And, uh... <laughs> it just... I don't know. It's just, I've saved so much money by not buying this crap. I mean, I... You know, I was spending hundreds of dollars a week on alcohol. I was spending $100 a week on fucking spices and, and random shit, you know. <coughs> I would make up like two two big ass party trays of chicken wings, one regular and one one for hot sauce. And I'd sit here and I would just eat. I would have like fucking four or five bottles of beer, and I would just eat the most wickedest hot sauce. And I would have like ten, fifteen, twenty chicken wings in one sitting, and it just keep going and going and going and going and going and going. I'm just down in beer, down in beer, down in beer, because the hot sauce is hot, and the more the hotter it is, the more I would drink it. Is. You know, we're looking at a Friday night of spending, like, you know, $400 on beer and probably another 50 or $60 on fucking chicken to turn into fried chicken. You know, and that's, like, almost every Friday night. It's insane. That's a lot of money to put on my credit card. And I, then I look at my credit card bill and I go, whoa, that's a lot of money on there. And meanwhile, it was, like, <laughs> under 1000 Now it's way over 1000 So... You know, there's also that plus, too. I'm spending less money. So I'm, like, gaining weight, spending less money, eating a lot healthier. And at the age I'm at, it's a good time to start to get it by the balls. You know, I, I was never somebody who had, you know, issues. I don't have allergies and shit like that. I'm allergic to stupid people, but that's not a, that's not a you know, legitimate allergy. But, you know... <laughs> I never had, like, any issues. The only allergies I have are, like, to evergreen plants and shit like that. Trees. For whatever weird reason that is. But who knows? That that might be because of, you know, my diet that I had. You know, maybe that was why I'm allergic to certain trees. You know, I, I, I touch them and I break out. And, you know, the leprechaun in me gets scared of the big, giant, green trees. I feel like they're going to land on me. No, I'm not scared of anything. Ironically. Blah. But, uh... Beard can get really annoying sometimes when you're eating. It's like my beard starts turning into a big giant butterball. 
Um, but anyway, uh, wrap it up. I don't want to just ramble on and stuff. But that's really it. No sore, no pain. Not knowing when it's going to rain. Um, felt a little bit of energy gain. I sleep through the night. Her and I have been having these like weird-ass dreams, though. I don't know if it's because of the shows we're watching, the shit we're thinking about. Who knows what's bringing them on. Or, you know, just the crazy world that's around us. But someone, sometimes her and I will have these weird-ass, bizarre dreams. Nothing crazy, nothing dangerous. I mean, a little crazy, but nothing dangerous and stuff like that. Just weird, bizarre fucking shit. I know a lot of that sometimes just because before I go to sleep, I'm on my phone looking at shit. And then, you know, I go to sleep and I'm dreaming about the people I was watching videos of on my phone. So, why is she in my dream? Why are you in my bed? Why am I fucking upside down? <laughs> oh, God. I think weird dreams is, is nothing that's connected. It's just uh, irony to it. Uh, but I do sleep through the night. You know, I'm not waking up in the middle of the night like I was early on, you know, when I started the transition where I was restless and stuff. I actually now sleep through the night, which is great. Every so often I'll wake up through the night and, you know, my bladder goes, knock, knock. Hey, yeah. Uh, we got some shit that wants to leave. Uh, I know you wanted to wait till 6 a.m., but uh, <laughs> he wants to leave now. So, uh, can, can uh, we not make a mess? So, I'll have that, you know, sometimes. Um, the diarrhea is kind of like going away. Um, I think it's because also I'm not drinking that much water. <coughs> I started. I was started drinking a lot of water the past couple of weeks. I drink a lot, a lot, and a lot, and a lot. So I know a lot of times if you drink a lot of water, you're gonna get water weight too. So that you gotta watch out for too, because you might be losing like circumference wise, but then you're gaining water weight. So you gotta play with the water water weight situation, which you know you always want to make sure there's always salt on your food, um, obviously. Because uh, that's like, kind of one of the parts of it and stuff as well. But also, like, you know, watch your water consumption. And I think now, like, my mouth is still wet, right? And I have two bottles that are closed. Uh, I think now, you know, we can go back to drinking only when we're thirsty. Um, or kind of, like, ease into it. Maybe not only when we're thirsty, but at least ease into it. You know, when you get that little dry sensation, just take a sip of water. You know, just... You don't have to get all crazy and fancy with it and, you know, try to come up with all these different plans. But I would say definitely is try to c cut back on your water intake. Um, that's really about it. So, anyway, guys, I'm just going to wrap the video up now. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends, comment below, <laughs> jump on the carnivore train. Tell me if you're interested in it, you know, anything. Just say something in the comments below, you know. That, hey, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're going to kill yourself. You're going to die. Ah, oh, well. Oh, well. We're all going to die. Some are going to die sooner than others. But I'm going to keep carnivoring on, and I can't wait to do something else other than these ribs because it's like, ugh, after a while. I'm, like, already done, and I have, like, a little bit left. So I'm going to eat the rest of it. That's it. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow we do something fresh, something different. Maybe we'll do a fish. <laughs> You're like, I used to fish the other day. Yeah, well, you'll kind of run out of stuff. We do have lamb, but I'm going to try to get away from the ribby type of meat. So, go back to like a steak. Um, like the medallion steaks that I have that are like this. They're <laughs> so freaking good. <clears throat> They're just so small. And um, I'm probably what I'm going to do is order some uh, strips of meat or something strip meat and stuff, like stew meat, uh, this weekend, and if, uh, I might, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I might be making my own beef jerky this weekend, um, just cause it's the only thing I could find that's like legitimately safe beef jerky, I mean, it's crazy, you know, I, I want to go look at like, let's see if I can pull it up here, uh, before I get off to, with you guys, I know I said, I oh, my goodbyes and shit, but one last thing. This was on Whole Foods, too, which I was really surprised. O-R-G, organic, which sounds strange when you call it organic beef jerky, 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 jerky. We're actually going to look at one of the bags. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see too much. 
but so that I <laughs> am not bullshitting you. We'll just pick, uh, I guess, grass fed. Right, just for hell with it. So a lot of times you can actually go back here. You can see the ingredients. Look at that. That ingredient list. That's insane. Organic beef, organic tarmid soy sauce, water, organic soybean salt, organic brown sugar. Can't have brown sugar. Organic sugar, organic molasses. Can't have molasses either. Organic garlic powder, organic pineapple juice, concentrated liquid smoke. Concentrate liquid smoke is not real smoke it's I forget what it is offhand but it's it's a chemical that you don't need so that that's a strike one right off the bat then they got water again natural hickory smoke flavor well naturally hickory smoke flavor is not naturally not nothing natural about hickory smoke it's not a flavor I mean yes you get a flavor but it's it shouldn't be a flavor you know, it should be, you know, meat, sm you know, smoked, smoked meat. Well, you know, what's the ingredients? You know, organic grass-fed beef and, you know, that is smoked, you know, for X amount of hours. That's what it should say to you. And then you got organic Worcestershire sauce, water again, organic vinegar, organic tamarack, water again, organic soybeans and salt. Organic sugar, salt, organic garlic powder, again, for some reason, and then organic onion powder, and then organic spices. That's another strike. We don't know what spices are in it, and are we really, really sure that they're organic? And all they did, really, was they took everything and they just threw the word organic behind it. <coughs> then you slide over to the side, and right then and there, you have a total carbohydrates, 8 grams of total carbs. Well, I can't have that. I'm on a non-carb diet. And then you have six grams of sugars, and then included added sugars, five grams. Ugh. That kind of makes you wonder. Eight grams. Eight grams of carbohydrates. I'm on a non-carb diet. There should not be anything in beef jerky. And this is plain Jane beef jerky. You know, I could see if this was like teriyaki, you know. It's not. It's plain Jane, boring beef jerky. And when you actually first look at it quick and you don't look at the ingredients, it says 80 calories, 11 grams of protein, 250 milligrams of sodium, zero fiber, and 6 grams of sugar. And you're like, ah, the sugar. You know, when I look at other ones on there, you know, there's Country Archer for 2.5 ounces, six, basically six bucks, which is a ripoff. That's way too freaking much money. And I go to them, and <coughs> I start looking at their listing, and and this is this is a kicker, right? I'm going to get closer so you guys can see this. May also contain alcohol. What the fuck? Look, there it is. Liquid smoke. Again. Hickory smoke flavoring. Again. It just gets worse the more you read it. Contain soy. Natural smoke flavoring added. Huh? Usually consumed within 10 minutes, if not, consumed within 3 days of opening. It may contain alcohol. How the fuck <laughs> could a bag of beef jerky contain alcohol? How? How? So that, so that, that like, and this one's got 6 grams of, of carbohydrates, 400 milligrams of sodium, I mean, it doesn't even look appetizing. So, if I go through with making, you know, my beef jerky that I've made, you know, once before, there'll be, like, a multiple-part video on that I'll post and stuff of showing you guys how you can make your own beef jerky at home. The only way, the way that you want to, to allow it to fit your diet. 
And I honestly believe that you people will <laughs> love doing it my way better than jumping down this hellhole of a path. I mean, this is just blows my mind that this is allowed, you know, to be handed out to the public. I mean, smoke flavoring, like liquid smoke. What in the hell is liquid smoke? Oh, that, that's getting that's getting good now. Okay, liquid smoke, everybody. Liquid smoke is a water-soluble yellow to red liquid used as a flavoring as a substitute for cooking with wood smoke while retaining a similar flavor. It can be used as flavoring for any meats and vegetables. Oh, this is, this is getting great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys see that, right? Is liquid smoke bad for you? Worried about that bottle of liquid smoke can be dangerous? Well, any other any other source of smoke can cause cancer and chemicals. It explains a concentrated... Uh, Iowa State explains that the concentration of the carcinogenic compounds is relatively low in comparison to food that has been charred or smoked. So they're claiming that the smoke that you do naturally of the food is more dangerous than a bunch of chemicals that is packed into a bottle to imitate flavors. That's when that's when you start you're like, okay, well, you know what? Let me let me try to figure out where did they come up with this? You know, how how did they how did they come up with this solution? This is the stuff you guys want to do. You really want to start looking into, like, okay, water-soluble flavor compounds and the smoke are trapped in liquid while insoluble tars and resins are removed by a series of filters. They keep playing with this word. The, the, my biggest issue with anything that is fake is it's chemical. And the biggest thing is that when they, when you ask for, well, what's in the ingredients? They go, ah, well, uh, it's, uh, it's all safe. Then why don't you show me? Well, uh, um... here's something you're going to really love. Liquid smoke is produced as a result of the combustion of actual tobacco products. Really? Tobacco products is how you... you oh my god. Just hand people a pack of cigarettes and call it a day. Wood chips or sawdust <clears throat> obtained through the lumber industry are typically burned at a high temperature and captured in a condenser in order for it to be burned. Uh, many turn their nose up at it. I don't blame for thousands. Da 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 da. Uh, artificial liquid smoke. There are chemicals. There's dyes, flavorings. The consumption of, of liquid smoke is safer than a fire pit. What the hell are you people talking about? I don't want tobacco in my food. And that's like the last thing I freaking want. It, it is nuts. And and these are what, you know, they're telling you. And then at the bottom it says, If you're concerned about using liquid smoke, you should consult a physician. You see that? What? If you're... Huh? What the hell? It's, it's like... I didn't want to make a 30 minute video. But it's like, this is the shit that I start looking at. And I go, oh my god. It's like... It's like, how the hell... Do you guys put all this chemicals together to imitate smoke? And burning tobacco? I mean, 
Tobacco's bad enough for you as it is. Now they're putting it in a jar, giving it to everybody to put on their food. And it's like, holy mother of God. It's like... Hmm. Huh. Okay. Like, what else are they putting in there that you don't know about? It's like, what the fuck? Uh... Of course it doesn't contain any animal products. <coughs> uh, activates. I'm trying to find one of these that just has a freaking photo of the back of the bottle that shows the ingredients and whatnot. And nobody wants to show the their backside. Jeez, I can't imagine why. Let's see if I can go for one more. Let's try Amazon. Let's see if Amazon has it with smoke. And I'm going to get rid of this video. I'm going to be done with this video. Uh, liquid. Smoke. There we go. Do, 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 Where we go? Man, it's good. They they posted every angle of this bottle but the ingredients. Now, if you're at home and you're trying to figure out if you want to buy this or not, you kind of want to know what the hell's in the, on it. You know, it's like, uh... Here's, here's one. Alright, I got one, everybody. Applaud to my sacrifice of everybody else. Tomato concentrate, tomato paste, water paste, sugar yellow, yellow mustard, distilled vinegar, water, mustard, seed salt, turmeric, spices. We don't know what those are, but they call them spices. That's strike one. Garlic, distilled vinegar, molasses, natural hickory smoke. Strike two. Less than 2% of spices. So all it says, less than 2% of spices. That's strike three. Salt, modified food starch. Uh, ugh. Three strikes, you're out. Caramel coloring. Oh, God, it gets worse. Apple juice concentrate. I don't know. Onion powder, garlic powder, lime juice concentrate, tamarind concentrate, organic ketchup blend. What the hell is that? And in parentheses, right, it puts organic spices, including... <laughs> Paprika, sea salt, and less than 2% of silicone dioxide. Oh, there it is again, silicone dioxide. Ah, oh, it's coming back to kill you. 